I, the inspired actor here. These quick take videos are meant to supplement my longer series of 10 minute acting class videos. So if you're new and have no idea what I'm talking about or what archetypal gestures are, I'll put a link to where you can start up here and in the notes. In brief, we are using archetypal gesture in order to place our intentions fully in our body. Practicing with these gestures when making your choices in your scene will help fully connect your psychological action with your physical body, with the goal being a more dynamic and concentrated use of your abilities on stage and on film. So without further ado, here is today's bonus archetypal gesture of drag. Drag. Begin in a neutral stance. Feet shoulder width apart, arms at your side, chest open and radiating. Inhale. Take a step back with one foot bending the back knee. Simultaneously, reach behind you with your palms facing down. Exhale and step forward from the back foot, maintaining contact with the ground throughout the step. While moving forward, imagine grabbing something with your fists and dragging it behind you. Remember to keep the focus of your energy on your ideal artistic center throughout the movement. While maintaining this position, radiate the feeling of the gesture with your full, concentrated energy. Once you sense the gesture is at an end, return to neutral. Do not rush the ending of the gesture or let it continue after you feel it has concluded. And that is drag. This gesture, as taught by the National Michael Chekhov Association, is based on the late Jack Colvin's teachings at the Michael Chekhov Studio in Los Angeles. I'll put a link to the National Michael Chekhov Association in the notes. Now, you might notice that drag is very similar to the pull, AG. Well, let's think about this for a second. When I want something, I pull it into me willfully and with a strong sense of purpose. I want it, and so I do something about it. But when I drag something, it implies that I have to use a lot of force and either I or the object I am dragging is offering some resistance to being moved. So the resisting force is one of the elemental differences in this gesture. It implies that I perhaps am bringing something into me reluctantly or that the object or person or goal is offering resistance to being brought closer. Additionally, the energy of the gesture lies fully in my backspace. What lies in our backspace? Our baggage. So think of it this way. We drag our physical baggage behind us when we are going on a trip. In this case, the trip is whatever the script is calling for and our baggage can be our emotional baggage or something that we reluctantly must take with us in order to have a successful adventure. There is a lot you can do with this gesture in that context, so try it out and tell me what happened for you in the comments. As always, when doing these gestures and actions, please remember your feeling of ease and your feeling of form. See you later, colleagues.